Hello everyone, I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Don Day with your Public Lands Council weekly weather update for this December 10th, 2022. It's being brought to you by WSR Insurance Services Incorporated and Ag Risk Advisors. There's a lot going on in the West and I want to take this opportunity to alert all livestock interest from the Central Plains in the Upper Midwest through the High Plains, Northern Plains, Rockies, Pacific Northwest, be ready for a very stormy period of weather. It's going to be getting cold. It's going to get rainy and snowy in the Pacific Northwest and into California. And then we're going to see a stormy pattern go west to east across the country. It really starts this weekend in the Pacific Northwest in California, then spreads across the Rockies early to mid next week and into the Plain States. This will be the coldest storm and the largest winter storm of the season. And we are looking at a dangerous livestock weather storm situation for parts of the Rockies, High Plains, and Northern Plains. We'll show you, but it really looks like the Dakotas, parts of southeastern Montana, parts of Wyoming and Nebraska, even parts of Colorado, we could see a prolonged wind and snow event. It's a December storm, so you may not get huge amounts of snow, but we're gonna see a prolonged period of very cold air with wind, which will cause a prolonged period of cold wind chills, blowing and drifting of snow. A lot of drifting of snow could be a real problem. And this cold pattern is gonna probably last through at least Christmas week, as the lower 48 will be exposed to a lot of Canadian air masses over the next couple of weeks. So be ready. Over the last week, this is where the precipitations fall. You can see California has done very well. Really nice to see that California precipitation in this early winter period. Even down into Arizona and New Mexico, some good moisture. You can see more snow has fallen in the mountains. And over the last two weeks, this is where the snowfall has occurred. And if you look at snowpack conditions, well, they're good. Anywhere you see the light blue or dark blue, snowpacks are way above average. The green means near or a little bit above average. Then you get into the yellows and the oranges and the reds. That's where your below average snowpack conditions are. Now we think that down there into Arizona, New Mexico, and into the drainages of Southern Colorado, there's gonna be some help on the way here over the next couple of weeks with storms tracking further south now. And I think you'll see a big boost in the central and northern Rockies with snowfall as well. And certainly in the Pacific Northwest, as we'll show you here in a minute, about ready to get really stormy and wet. This is all due to a deep storm that is coming into the Pacific Northwest. Now this is by Monday morning. So during the course of the weekend, this area of low pressure, which is right now up into the Gulf of Alaska, is going to head southeast right along the coast. So this is going to get the Sierra Nevada of California with some very heavy snow and wind, a lot of rain along the Oregon, Washington, Northern California coast, but rain will also get into Central and Southern California, then into the Great Basin states. You even get east of the Cascades into Eastern Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Nevada, and Utah you're gonna see significant winter conditions there and cold weather. Windy conditions and warmer conditions out on the plains this weekend, but we are gonna see that all change. Now, this is the forecasted precipitation through the weekend. So you can see all of that orange there and the heavier red colors that you're seeing, that's where the heaviest precipitation is gonna be. And you can see by Monday morning, it's getting further eastward into the basin and then starting to punch into the Northern and Central Rockies. As we look at the snowfall amounts, well, there could be feet of snow in the high Sierras. I think uh, snowfall amounts of three to four feet or more could occur over the next 72 hours, basically through this weekend in the Sierra Nevada. And you can see there are heavier snows into the mountains of Washington and Oregon and Idaho. Then all of this translates eastward. We're gonna have a deep storm forming over Eastern Colorado by Tuesday morning. Winter storm conditions to the track of the northern part of the storm. Up on the northern and northwest part of the storm is where we're going to have the winter storm conditions. And dare I say, by Tuesday and Wednesday, we may have blizzard conditions in some parts of the northern and central high plains. So stock growers, you really need to pay careful attention to this one into those areas. We're also going to see an outbreak of severe weather here in the south central United States as the Arctic air from the storm punches in against some very moist air from the Gulf, and that's gonna to lead to a severe weather outbreak there. So there's a lot gonna be going on across the United States as we get into this weekend, then it's gonna go into next week. And there you can see the heavy precipitation with the storm as it winds up right here. This area that I've highlighted right there is we're concerned where the wind and the snow and the cold will combine to make for very stormy conditions. And look at this arc of snow that is forecasted across the plains 
the northern plains and parts of the Rockies. Then as the storm translates eastward, getting into the upper Midwest and then eventually into the northeastern part of the United States, probably by next weekend. And you can look at the cold. These are the temperature anomalies by Wednesday. So Arctic air is going to penetrate into on the back side of the system. And these are the winds, the forecasted strong winds. So these are the wind gusts, 40, 50 miles per hour, even up to 60 miles an hour. So you put that with the snow and the cold, and you've got yourself a nasty storm system in the Plains states next week. So be prepared and then look at the cold that comes in and pours behind the storm. This is by next weekend. Just about the entire nation is going to have below average temperatures with a pocket of very cold air across all of the western states, even getting down into Texas. So this is not only a stormy situation coming up, but there's no rebound. It's going to stay cold behind the storm and will probably stay cold through Christmas and right on into maybe New Year's weekend as well. Not so sure about that New Year's week, but certainly through the week of Christmas, this cold stormy pattern will dominate. And there you can see the snowfall across the country through next weekend with this storm. Our next update will be the 17th. Again, be careful with this next week coming up, folks. There's a lot of weather to deal with, especially for you folks in the northern, central high plains, northern plains, and the Rockies and the Pacific Northwest.